among you has kids, could you just raise your hands? Okay, uh, it's not a lot. And I bet you share my pain as well, that it's uh, hard to use driver for secure riding with your kids. Those who haven't must have not uh, faced this problem. Can everybody see? This audio was made yesterday and uh, we quickly made a video today to make the picture of, of what is happening. I have a passenger. Скажите, пожалуйста, если мне нужно детское кресло в машине, как я могу его заказать или организовать? Нужно детское кресло для ребенка. Я в приложении, к сожалению, не нашла нигде информацию, как я могу. Screenshots, whether they would use it, 
And Tatiana Grinova, for example, is looking for a special driver for her son for actually three or four months already. And she's the head of the main lifestyle media in Ukraine. And uh, another one is uh, Lera Vardina, who also said she would use it for her kids, for little one or for older, for little one with herself, and for older one after 14 when she has this opportunity to schedule the special driver for her baby. We also find an opportunity not only in potential clients, but in potential Uber drivers who now doesn't want to join Uber regarding some concerns they have, but would join it if, uh, if such a feature as your special personal driver could exist. How it could work, you could customize the driver regarding not a car class like now, but regarding some habits you have, some special features. For example, somebody doesn't smoke, somebody doesn't listen to strange music, somebody greets you, somebody opens a car, somebody maybe even helps you to take your booster in the car, and etc. etc. So we would like to have the option to save the driver, and we have a hypothesis that a person can save from 5 to 15 drivers, for example, with these mm -mm, certain features, and you can save those drivers and you can use them in future. We've heard about the policy that the Uber politics is about that you have to choose different drivers, but still we insist on the experiment like this and we should give it a try. We also would train the drivers and uh, help them like medical courses, uh, courtesy courses, whatever. Yesterday we were making a lot of interviews, actually calling people and asking them about their experience and asking about an opportunity for a personal driver and they said that they would switch if something new would happen. And I was asking them would they switch if such a feature exists. They, everybody said yes, that it would be a great experience, I would even become an early adopter and uh, try to come back to this service, which means for me that Uber could rebuild trust from those who were lost. Uh, our project steps, uh, as you can see, are simple. To present the idea, to work more on prototype and get feedback, and then within three months to create a mini visual project to measure results measure it for Ukraine as an experience, as a regional experience, experiment here and then decide whether to scale up here or whether to scale up for other markets. Um, this is our team which was working on this actually from the scratch. We didn't have idea I think till 4 p.m. yesterday because we were calling clients and deciding where to look and what to work on. Uh, also, we made a lot of research on what is media talking about Uber now. Um, as you can see, it's about compensation so, to those problems which exist. And um, in the same article, actually, was this picture. And you, some who organized events know how it's done. You're riding a bicycle, it's burning, but you're still riding. And you're saying it's fine, but to solve a problem, the first is to accept that something is actually bad happening. And uh, our conclusion and, uh, and advice is uh, to change the philosophy of Uber right now, uh, like extinguishing fires, like stopping fires. I want you guys to think like a startup, to, uh, to experiment, to look for opportunities, and to stop solving problems, but to create new solutions, new opportunities, and to uh, experiment and try and try and try. I think it would help. Thank you very much. Other about this. Uh, as far as I know, for those uh, solutions we want to make, there was not enough data 
which we needed. We need it in Giga, like big data, and the one is existed, which we couldn't just uh, make it great. That's why I showed the slide with the next steps. We're eager to continue, we know how to continue, we know, we know now who we need, what, uh, what time it will take, and to make it great, uh, we need more time and more people, actually. And more data, more open big data. Thank you. 